Alright, so I'm back at Starbucks. I got a renter who's renting out my DJI RSC2. I gotta say, this little gimbal has made me quite the penny. It's paid for this, the pay for it itself a couple times over now, so I really appreciate that. I was thinking about whether or not I want to get the RS3, well, the RC3 Pro. Um, yeah, more for the payload capacity, not for the features. I think the new auto lock feature added to it is really a good little benefit versus like manually having to lock it off. But at the end of the day, I'm in the business right now and just focusing on creating content. If there's something that adds value and makes me more efficient as a filmmaker, then I add it to the mix and also supplement my income. My right now gear has been, you know, pretty uh, lucrative. So I appreciate that. Um, I think my rent is showing up right now, but today I kind of wanted to talk about tabletop tripods. We're going to get in that. Okay, we are back. I just dropped off the DJI RSC2 to the renter. I picked up a nice little strawberry ICI drink from Starbucks because it is two J's. You heard it correctly, two J's. Um, we're all cold drinks at 50% off, so that's a nice little tip. Um, so I might have to do this every Tuesday, little vlog. Uh, so today we're going to be talking about tripods for cameras like vlogging as well as i'm gonna talk a little bit about the canon rf 24 millimeter f 2.8 is macro lens that will be coming out hopefully later this month or early next month i already put it on for pre-order um so let's get into it inspiration shout out to my boy who's getting into the content game who's been buying gear he just got a gopro 9 for a crazy ridiculous good deal uh i think craigslist Facebook Marketplace is another avenue to look for those deals. That's the reason why I have so much gear because sometimes I'm buying lenses and I'm like, I don't need no more and there's something to come up and I'm like, gotta get that. Um, but with that said, let's get into the video. So starting out looking for a tripod for vlogging. Now, let's start off and give love to Sony. If you've been watching my channel, you know I predominantly shoot Canon, um, but this Sony ZV-1 I have to say was an excellent, it still is an excellent choice for vloggers. I think they even came up with a newer version, which is like the Sony ZV E10, whatever it is. It's interchangeable. Now, I love interchangeable lenses. I'm shooting on a Canon R6 right now. I got the RF35 F2 1.8 lens on there, macro IS. Um, you want to know what the IS is? It's the image stabilization. With that in the five axis, the image stabilization in the camera, it allows when I'm going handheld to get me eight stops of image stabilization, which is really, really beneficial if I'm going handheld. And then the macro part is just when I get in really close, the camera can still focus, which is not something that is um, on every single lens. You can't get that close. So when you get nice little detailed shots and trying to get details, close, fashion, flowers, whatever, wildlife, you just want to get really really up close you know macro is very beneficial so i love this lens for vlogging kind of the reason why i'm gonna talk about the 24 millimeter a little bit later because i gotta push the car seat way back as if i have 24 millimeter i can just leave it in the normal position so i gotta really get back with the, the 24 millimeters i mean with the 35 millimeters a little tighter than what i prefer because the benefit of 24 you can always crop in always shooting wider you can always crop in and you want a little bit of room so when you do a pop-up it's not over your face especially you know getting into the content and create a game that's a little bit of a tip but the thing i loved about this sony zv1 um, and being a canon predominantly shooter is that it had the nice little tripod so you could fold this out you know on vacation you could put it on something mount it on a table you always have some options it also had the zoom in this is a zoom lens it's the reason why i prefer this version over the newer version just because for people getting into the vlogging game i think keeping it simple being efficient and having everything all at once is very beneficial we had a built-in nd filter great low light you know for a camera like this now for some of you like then why wouldn't you use this because the image quality is different you know between shooting on a full frame camera like the canon r6 as well as using interchangeable lenses with faster apertures you know it's going to give me a more shallow depth of field so that background is going to be a little blurred out in a way that i love and now that i'm shooting in daylight because i'm outside in the starbucks parking lot i do have six stops of nd filter on the lens to make sure i can stop down and keep the exposure where it's at so right now i got it at iso 400 because that is the native iso for the canon r6 every camera has this kind of native iso um it might vary you know a cinema camera sometimes 800 850 so always look for the native iso it's going to give you the cleanest image and the best image out of your camera which can be very beneficial when getting the color grading or just any type of uh, content creation game 
Um, so with the Sony ZB-1, great job by Sony. And I think once they created this, a lot of companies took heed. So with that, you had Small Rig. If you're not familiar with Small Rig, get familiar with Small Rig as a content creator. Um, Small Rig is just, they provide excellent affordable options of accessories in this game. You know, there's some heavy hitters in the game. When I started out with Red Rock Micro, I loved their gear. Uh, carbon fiber material was all premium quality, but it was expensive as hell. Um, Small Rig came in the picture, provided some affordable options. It still stands the test of time. So I love they see what Sony did and they created the same kind of a setup. Detachable remote, we can hook this up Bluetooth wise. And flip out as you can see, kind of the same thing they did with uh, Sony ZV, but they took it a step further where when you press record, you zoom in, it's actually detachable so you can do it with Bluetooth and you can hook this up Bluetooth to your camera. So I really, really appreciate it. The only reason why I don't use this that much is because of the fact that my Canon R6 is a little heavier than what is required from this being sturdy, you know, so I decided to opt with something else just because this is a little too light. So if you got a smaller camera or you have an action camera or a pocket camera, I think this would be perfect accessory. And if small rig, if you're watching, come up with a model that's a little bit bigger. I think the price tag of this, listen. Everything that I'm talking about, every piece of gear in the description box below, I'm going to put links that help support my channel, help support me as a content creator. Of course, you know additional charge. Um, and feel free to comment down below if you got more specific questions. I'm going to try to show these and also say who this is for. So as I said, action cameras, smaller cameras, maybe APS-C cameras, something like the Canon R10, which is coming out, which is a lot lighter than the R6. You know, I would recommend the R7 is almost about the same weight as the R6, so I wouldn't really recommend the R6 with something this light. Um, I would definitely go heavier, but I love that small rig. So what Sony did, they saw that it was an excellent block and option for content creators, and they basically adopted it to their accessory item. So shout out to Small Rig for doing that. Love what they're doing. Highly recommend this. Um, and moving on, for some of you, like okay, um, but what about the Joby Gorilla Pod? I've had the 5K for years. I love this. It still can hold up my Canon C70. Um, the one thing about it is, is that it has a very unique base plate right here. So if you're going to buy this, I always recommend buying an additional base plate um, just in case you lose it. You know what I mean? Like always have the additional. And I put the Arca Swiss plate on top just to make it more accessible the way I move. I can detach this from my car mount right here, go straight to the Arca Swiss plate. Let me just show you this for, put this in the vlog so you can see the reference. So you can see, this is the setup, Arca Swiss plate, Nova Flex mount, Canon R6, MKE 400, that's normally the vlogging setup. Now we have the Joby Gorilla Pod, Arca Swiss plate, that allows me to do all that. Look at the lineup we got to do. So, very flexible, multi-use, Attach it to a tree, I wouldn't necessarily do that, but you've seen videos being done, you can mount it, it handles a lot more weight. The only reason why I would go with something else is if you want to be a little bit more sleek. This is a little obvious that this person is vlogging, they are content created, it screams content created. That's not always a bad thing in certain situations, but um, definitely still recommend this. But I moved on to which now is my favorite, which is the PGY Tech. Shout out to PGY Tech. I'm not really familiar with this company until this. I was looking for the perfect vlogging tripod. Um, as you can see, they took from what Sony ZV started the game off. You have this right here, this setup. You know I mean, I love that. You know, people see what's in the marketplace, see what content creators need. You can adjust on the fly, lock off options. You got the Arca Swiss plate attached to the mini Arca Swiss plate. Like I said before, when you have something that's not as common, something you just can't get off Amazon the next day, I always love having the Arca Swiss plate so all of my small accessories can go from one tripod to the next tripod. Um, I just love that, that ecosystem, so that's the reason why I have that set up. PGY Tech, shout out for the technology. Only thing that I would ask for is you make a stronger version not that much more just a, a little bit more of a uh, payload capacity um, it does handle the r6 handle the wells because so if it handles the r6 and handle most mirrorless uh, DSLR such as the 
you know, Sony A7S III, Canon R6, Canon R5, and all the predecessors before that. Um, maybe not like a 1DX2, but um, for the most part, all the mirrorless cameras are going to do a really good job with the setup. I just love the technology. It's very thoughtful. You know, always with your table chop, make sure nothing's shaking too much. You know, always lock it down, make sure everything is secure. So shout out to PGY Tech for providing the solution. Um, I just love it for a vlogging option. Um, I took it to uh, Hotel Ish Correct. I'm going to be dropping a vlog soon. This is a lot of editing with that. Um, just a wonderful job. And as you can see, even GoPro 10, when I bought the Hero Creator set, as you can see, a similarity. Everybody got the picture from the Sony ZV-1. I'm going to give them a first shout out. If there's somebody else, comment down below. But I think Sony ZV-1 was the first one with these table tri tabletop tripods, everything built in. The GoPro handle, if you're getting with a GoPro, I highly recommend this because it's going to give you a GoPro four and a half hours of battery life while it's plugged in to kind of get you more content more capabilities um and the creator kit comes with the light comes with the microphone if you are going in the water make sure you take this phone part off it's going to be damaged um i really love what everybody's doing it seems like everybody is just looking at what's out there what's benefiting content creators and i can always stand behind that and shout out to man frodo honestly before joby gorilla pod before pgy tech before small rig one of the first tabletop tripods i had was by the man frodo they have a smaller version this is the, the the bigger version the reason why i love this one is that it's sleek it's small it's sturdy so like if you have something like you know like i said an eosr anything lighter than that a rebel camera i still highly recommend this so you're gonna stem the legs out to really get a little bit more room so if you're putting the camera on there you know you have that option to kind of like now hold it out you know so for a lighter camera this is still an excellent choice i just love what everybody's doing right now with the content game in terms of building out accessories all these great companies out there um doing a fabulous 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 job and that pretty much wraps up this video on tabletop tripods feel free to comment down below oh one other thing i wanted to talk about so I appreciate these universal accessories. Every tabletop, tripod, every piece of gear has a place and a home. It's just about finding what's the best one for you. Um, and before I forget, the Canon RF 24mm f2.8 f1.8 IS macro lens. I can't wait for that lens to come out. I already have it on pre-order. I love that lens. My boy was asking me about different lenses. We all have different lenses for capacity. Like when I first got in, I was buying zoom lenses. And then listening to the DPs on set, they was like buy prime lenses because it forces you to move your feet to understand composition, and that's all true to life. Now, because we kind of talk about tabletop tripods for vlogging, um, the thing about it is for me, the 24 millimeter on a full frame camera is going to give me a lot more room. So right now, I said I had to push my seat way back, drop it low, um, just to make sure I got that room and I get that shallow dip to fill. Sometimes you want a little bit more width so you get people can get the scenery and because all these cameras now are down sampling from a higher sensor like the R6 is down sampling from the 5.1k sensor to get 4k the new R7 and R10 I think is down sampling from 7.1k sensors the reason why that becomes beneficial is because when you crop in it's pretty much visually lossless information that you're going to see that's why David Fincher shoots all his films in 8k just for like future proof you know, film was always higher than 4K, so I guess they used to that as well. They just gotta remaster film. Film is like, I don't even know how to break it down in terms. I've heard some people say film is like 80K, 20K. I just know it's definitely higher than 8K. Um, but that's the beauty of it. You know, technology, future proof, body things that are gonna benefit you, you know, now and in the long run. So at 24 millimeter, having that shallow depth of field to be able to tell a story. Like I said, I just dropped off, you know, piece of gear to a renter. I just had 50% off drink at Starbucks with two yays um, and then did a vlog. I love multitasking. I love being able to you know, add value back to this platform I learned so much from. So if this video was helpful, don't forget to smash that like button, turn on notifications, subscribe to the channel, and as always, stay creative, be courageous, and get on your mind. Thank you.